Hey everyone, Happy New Year. To quickly show this project I've been working on for a few days now, where I basically am just remaking the cards from Marvel's Snap, um, which if you're unfamiliar with, uh, Marvel Snap is basically just a card game. It's kind of mobile first, so this is kind of on the desktop. It looks a little bit weird because it's meant for mobile. Not really much of a card game player, but I am kind of drawn to this one. I was initially drawn in because it's themed by Marvel, but what kept me around and kept me playing was how fast the gameplay was. Like, basically, you can get in and out of a match in you know about a couple minutes. Um, so I feel like that was really appealing. The other thing was these cards in general I thought was really interesting just the simplicity but the how effective they are um, and how easy it would be to create all these different cards for you to give to like a design team or something like that so what do I mean by that let me show an example if you're unfamiliar with this game when you get a card essentially you can upgrade them they'll all start off uh, as a common card which would be indicated by the gray border you can then click down here and click upgrade or you can spend your currency um, essentially to level this up so if I click this you'll see we'll do a, an upgrade and you may notice that the difference here now being that you know Quicksilver here is not popping out of the card he's still kind of 2d where he's in the same plane as the card so that goes from gray to green so now it's uncommon and then if you go to blue this is rare and this is when the cards become 3d so you can see there's a little bit of depth to this card now I thought this was really interesting and all these different modifications that you get as you level up your card are all pretty simple to achieve and I was thinking of how I would do that in unity and that's kind of what started off this project um, so if I go back into unity you'll see here that I have Goku. So I originally started with trying to take apart Cyclops um, and I was just going to show like how to recreate one of those cards exactly. However, what I ended up needing was to have all the parts of the card to be separated onto their own layers essentially. So Goku is on his own layer, the effects are on their own layer, the background's on its own layer, the name is on its own layer. Um, so I ended up just going online and sourcing these and kind of pulling them all in. And the reason I chose Dragon Ball instead of Marvel was just to show kind of how easy this could be implemented for almost any IP or game that you wanted to make. So any card game could follow these same rules and use all these techniques that I'll be showing in upcoming videos. So for now, all I have is basically the uncommon here, which is showing the flat um, basic card that starts off with and you'll notice that Goku is a little bit smaller and that's kind of how Marvel Snap does it as well. Um, when you upgrade up to Uncommon they typically will get larger and then break out of the card. And this is simply achieved by using masks and setting the interior stuff to kind of go from being affected by the mask to being unaffected by the mask. So it's a pretty simple way to do that. Then the next one I have is the rare, which now makes it 3D. So now with this step, the only thing that really changes is you're just changing the Z value for all the different um, layers to give it that feeling of 3D. So that's all I have so far. Um, I haven't gotten to the animation or animating the borders or anything like that, but However, the techniques there I think will also be relatively simple to achieve. And the nice thing about this project is that it's all pretty low scoped. I think there's a lot to learn. So there's scriptable objects, animations, um, shaders, post-processing, UI, and maybe a few other things I'm forgetting. But stay tuned for more on this. Comment down below if there's something you're really interested in so that I make sure to cover it. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button and maybe consider subscribing to see how this turns out. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.